now we're going to simply put the values into the database, if all is correct. Um, but first, instead of having echo and just printing the errors out on screen here, we're going to store them in this error array that we created at the top. Okay, I'll explain why we do that in a minute. But first, one thing you might notice is when we, sub when we submit the form, and maybe there's an error, maybe the passwords don't match, all the values disappear. It tells you the error there. What we'd like to do is keep the valid values inside the form. They can just modify the ones that need changing. So how we do that, let's go back to here. At the top here, we're going to simply write session start brackets. Oh, just those two brackets. Session start. And this starts what's called a session, which allows us to store the value of these variables inside what's called a session variable. You'll see how this works now. So at the top here, where we've declared our variables, we're going to add the session variables right here. Underneath each one, we're going to say dollar sign underscore session in all capitals, square brackets, reg underscore f name equals f name. And this stores first first name into session variable, and I can't spell still. There, we can copy that and do exactly the same for L name. And then we can do the same thing for email. So this would be uh, register email, we called it. This will be em. Copy that. This will be email two, and that'll be email two. And oh, we can change the comments as well. Store email two. Store email. Store last name. So now, when you submit the form, it will store the values that you entered inside session variables, and what we can do with them is if scroll, we scroll down to our input fields, we can do something really simple. We can put the PHP tags inside of this input field, like this, PHP, and put the closing one on. And then we can put any more PHP code we want inside here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if is set dollar sign underscore session square brackets with the single quotes reg underscore f name And there we're going to put our brackets. And what we can do, we can move this down to the next line just so we can see what's going on a bit clearer. Inside this if statement, we're going to say echo this right here. Section reg underscore f name. Okay. And what I forgot to do up here is we need to say outside of this PHP block value equals put a double quote and then put another double quote at the end the closing one right here okay and that's it now if I show you what that does I can type in my first name okay and there's emails password passwords don't match so notice how Reese has stayed behind it saved the value for first name and it saved it there so I won't have to re-enter that and we can do that for the we can copy and paste that for the rest of the fields so the value equals can put it just before the required word so value equals if is that session l name l name we can do the same again for email reg underscore email reg underscore email and same again oh sorry I forgot to copy that again same again for email two Two, two, and we don't do it for password because we don't want them to save the passwords. So there we go. Now, if we enter anything like that, let's say mess up the emails and the passwords as well. Apparently, they if all the values stay there, so I could only fix. I'll just fix whatever needs to be fixed, and then I can submit. Oh, I didn't put a long enough password. Let's say, and there we go.